Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm looking at a very important book which has come to us from the Legal Action Group. It's one that we've reviewed before and it's a first class book which you will see in any courtroom uh, and tribunal <coughs> um, in this country, mainly because it's such a, a wise um, con uh, book in terms of its content, the way in which we do things. The book is called Tribunal Practice and Procedure. It's this book here. It's now in its fourth edition. It's got a subtitle, <coughs> Tribunals under the Tribunals, Courts and Enforcement Act 2007, and it's been written by Edward Jacobs, who is to be thoroughly uh, thanked for producing what is a first-class book for both lay people, lay users of the, the system, and of course practitioners and the judiciary and any, any form of uh, decision-making body. Now Elizabeth and I have reviewed the book and we came up with a title for our review of Fundamental Advice for Lay People and Lawyers Alike Covering Modern Tribunal Practice and Procedures. And that is exactly what you get with the book. Let's have a look at it first of all. It's a heavy book, paperback. There we go, there's the front. See, and then th that is the spine. And then at the back, there's quite a lot there. I'll just move it back a bit so you can see. There's quite a lot on the back. There's some quotes from various people. Sir Ernest Ryder has a quote as the head of the uh, tribunal system. And you can see from uh, the book, uh, in fact, there's a shaded area there, which is actually where the appendices are. I'll just show you that right at the beginning. The appendices there, you can see the structure. There are three, A, B and C, and obviously the very important information contained therein. There is, of course, at the back, a very detailed uh, index, which is there. The index is done by paragraph numbering, not page numbers. So it's important to know how to find things. There's the front. It's a heavyish book, this one, actually. Runs to something like 700 pages. There's the information about Mr. Jacobs, and then the front page there. And then we've got basic information. It is available as an e-book, as well as a basic uh, paperback. And there's a dedication, which I always like to mention. And as I said, there have been three editions. In fact, uh, the first edition was 2009, second 2011, third 2014. And this one is dated 2016, and I'm recording it at the beginning of 2017. Then there's a Ford by Ernest Ryder, an experienced gentleman. It gave an excellent speech to the Bar Conference in 2016. Then there's a Ford to the first edition by... Uh, Lord Justice Carnworth, who was then President of Tribunals, and then there's a preface from Edward. Then you get into the contents section as a whole. You see the, the page numbering there, but again, there are uh, 15 chapters in total, then the three appendices. Then after that you've got some cases, of course, some case law, and you see plenty of cases there. Don't be flattered by the fact there are lots and lots of cases because every, every case depends on its own facts quite often anyway. Statute uh, tables there, and then SIs, and after that we we'll go on for a bit with the SIs. Then there's some European legislation. We're going to have this for some time, even though we're leaving the EU. We will still have the European legislation for a long time to come. The abbreviations are helpful. One of the problems with tribunals is they do tend to be a little bit more formal than one would think. You do need to know about the rules. That's one of the biggest problems. The basic concepts are fine, but you do need to know about the rules. Now, there's the chapter. You see how the structure of each chapter is. What's quite useful is it sets out a little mini index for each chapter. So you should be able to find things pretty quickly. Then you get into the body copy of the work. Obviously there are large numbers of footnotes which you can see on the sides and you've got this uh, paragraph numbering which you can see on the sides. Uh, and again as I say there is a, a substantial amount of logic about the way that Jacobs has structured this book and I know from the comments I've received from a large number of users of the tribunal system how grateful they've been to Mr Jacobs and the Legal Action Group 
the Access to Justice charity for producing this work because it makes our lives a great deal easier and that covers all the practitioners and all the people involved in the system. So if you do have a problem where you know you're going to a tribunal, it's this sort of book which you actually do need to actually be aware of uh, in, in, uh, in the course of any sort of work that you do because it will give you quite a lot of common sense uh, directions in terms of the advice that you might be seeking if you're unrepresented. So what do we say about the book? <coughs> it's a comprehensive book by the superb Edward Jacobs and it covers the integrated tribunal system created by the Act, that's the Tribunal Courts Tribunals, Courts and Enforcement Act 2007 and it gives fundamental advice of great relevance to unrepresented parties and that's basically our our very short view of what this book is about. Now the Legal Action Group of course always excel themselves with the advice they give practitioners and lay people alike with their mission to bring some additional help and access to justice for those at the very bottom of the system and they do it so well here with an explanation of tribunal work which can be daunting for many because let's face it it can be more formal than some of today's lower courts. At least that's our view. And I say that specifically because you go to the tribunal sometimes and you wonder what you're actually in for because it seems to be very detailed, very complex, very austere and I've actually found it less friendly than some of the courts. I think that's probably because of the way that the systems are changing at the moment where we've almost got to a position where the the client will see the judge now rather than the other way around. And we do have that problem. Anyway, this new handbook for 2016 provides what the Action Group call a structured approach, which is highly practical in relation to the procedure and practice of tribunals, setting them in the context of the nature of tribunals, their proceedings and jurisdiction, setting the rules of procedure in context and providing a framework for analysing and understanding the practices uh, that apply to the users in what, as I say, can be an alarming jurisdiction for the uninitiated. And with the new fourth edition, uh, Jacobs gives us the most comprehensive and authoritative guide to the integrated tribunal system which has been um, created by the 2007 Act and we really have difficulty finding anything else on the market which is of a comparable standard today for its uh, price and its simplicity and that's really the the beauty of the LAG works. In the three and a half years since the previous edition the tribunal system has continued to expand and it explains fluently in this particular volume the work of the property chamber which has joined the first tier tribunal and in addition the jurisdictions of the chambers comprising the first tier tribunals have steadily increased as new rights of appeal have been created and the upper tribunal's um, judicial review function has been great, greatly expanded to the consternation of some users. Now I'm mentioning these words here because a lot of people are going to get very confused, as I certainly have done, about the various words that are used about chambers and upper tiers and all this sort of stuff. It is quite important to get an idea of the structure of the tribunal system from the bottom ranks sort of going all the way up. And I think this book again helps you um, because it does look a bit formidable. As well as dealing with the rules of procedure then, this specialist manual contains great practical advice for the tribunal members themselves. I think they will be actually benefit from reading this and those who appear before them. So it's our view it should be required reading for all and available and on show at all tribunals and we think it probably is anyway. Um, and that's a tribute both to the work of the Legal Action Group and Edward Jacobs' work in particular. And I can't stress how much I appreciate in my uh, 25 odd years of practice the work of uh, the Legal Action Group in helping me and many others um, try to over understand and get over some of the, the initial problems because it is, when you first start, certainly quite a difficult um, understanding in terms of jurisdiction and everything else to, to, um, to, to really follow and so this sort of publication helps. Um, 
I think uh, for parties and their representatives, the handbook deals with obtaining and assessing evidence, uh, writing decisions, applying for adjournments, techniques of questioning and tribunal advocacy, and it therefore makes it of fundamental significance to those starting their legal career as well as older people like us. I think also the point about types of advocacy. Advocacy is different actually in the tribunals and you've got to, you've got to be very well aware of um, the views of the tribunal chairman and, and the, the assessors because they have a different approach and it's a different way of speaking to them and you must be careful with what you do. There's no question then that this is essential reading uh, for tribunal judges and panel members for representatives and anyone who appears before a tribunal or is interested in how they work. It could be for students, for instance, as well, people doing A-levels and so forth, to get an idea of the tribunal system. And, of course, it's useful to get an idea of where we are now with the civil justice process here in the 21st century because we're embarking at the moment on some of the most massive changes to the business of law since the Judicature Acts. Um, all those years ago, and it's called uh, digitization. That's going to be with us, and it's going to be a very substantial set of changes that we face. The publication date is cited at 2016, and I'm actually recording this in early 2017, and hopefully this will be on the LAG website. Here's the book again, there's the front, there's the spine, and there's the stuff at the back. I can't really strongly enough uh, support this. This bit right in the middle is on appeals, for instance, because you might not like what's happened. And it sets out very simple things. Power to hear the case, evidence, issues of mixed fact and law, mistakes of the finding of fact and so on. So really, I think most of the questions that you will have are well catered for in this book. Uh, and as I said, I'd like to thank Edward um, Jacobs very much indeed for taking on this task. As I said, it makes our life so much easier. Thank you to everybody concerned and a very happy new year. Bye bye.